up, War Gamers? Uh, John back here again. Another weekly build. Um, the last one was one of the last, like, kind of pre planned ideas I had. So, this one here, um, this is a super rough draft. But I basically took the Gaslands, like, quick reference and all the perks and sponsors, and I've made, like, a huge randomized chart. So, from now on, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna roll random for a chassis what gear it has, what perks it has. Uh, if anyone's interested, I can put this big old chart, randomized chart thing I made up in, up in a link or something if you're interested. I mean, it's fully random from sponsor to maybe you roll no sponsor. And if I have a set where if you roll no sponsors, there's exactly 12 perk classes. So you just roll two D12s and you have your two perks. You know, you can roll random for your perks. Just something to kind of help uh these builds to find stuff i normally wouldn't use or just something weird um so a couple things like if you see it doesn't make sense like you have a miskin with a trailer this is this the chart fun you know like here we got pretty we got a pretty loose group so as long as it's in the can limit and there's nothing crazy crazy like putting a wreck lobber on a bike um most people here is no problem with it, but uh, yeah, enough chit chat. Like I said, if you guys are interested in the chart, I can post it uh, in the description or comments or something. Uh, link it over. But uh, what I got right now is I bring it up. This is the first build I'm doing with my random chart, and of course I roll the worst. <laughs> like not the worst, but it's one of the hardest vehicle types to find in the scale. Like. You know, bikes are already hard because Hot Wheels, they they scale their 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 almost said their measures. They scale their cars to fit in the packaging. That's why, like, if you look a Hot Wheels bike, it's sometimes bigger than an actual car. But what I found is a bunch of these. So you get pretty loose with bikes. So bikes are already hard to find in the right scale. And I rode bike with a sidecar. Which is even sillier. And I have to find a bike with a sidecar. But I found these. And I think the Dollar Tree. Um, they're Matchbox? Yeah, these ones are Matchbox. Where I found some Polaris slingshots. They had a bunch of them. Oh, here we go. Come on, focus. Focus. They have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of trikes. And... I picked up a bunch of these. Though these are work great for just bikes. So for me, it's just like bike, just a small vehicle. So I got a bunch of slingshots. I also picked up a bunch of street sweepers and like forklifts and little bobcats they had, which I know doesn't really fit the bike style, but yeah, it's a tiny little vehicle. You can see it not be able to take many hits. So it's pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a pretty fragile kind of vehicle. So that's what I'm going for for bikes. But enough chit chatted. Um, see what I actually rolled for this thing. We got a bike. Oh, I rode a bike with a flamethrower. So we're gonna get into this build, and we'll see how it ends up. All right, guys. Uh, first things first. I think the best way to start would be um, we got these little crew members here from the Implements of Carnage Sprue. So by North Star Minis. So I think the first thing we're gonna do, oh, here's the other one, is we're gonna uh, see if I can get a close up on these. We're gonna build these little crewmen. Oh, where's my center? There it is. We're gonna build these little crewmen. We're gonna get them right in there. Uh, I'm gonna probably time lapse it because I know it's gonna be real fiddly work. So I'm gonna put these bad boys in, and then we'll jump right on to the next step.
All right, guys, back at it again. Um, so we got the drivers in, nice and secure. The problem is these guys are a little short for, like, they'd be fine interior, but just due to the slingshot, it's kind of got a long cabin. So their legs don't really reach, don't really reach all the way over, but that's fine. Um, we had a little armor paneling to the sides here to kind of... Just give them a little something if they're side shot. And it also helps with the bonus, as you can see, where it covers up the legs. So now we're going to slap in this flamethrower in the front. I think we're going to go with the front mounted. Um, I think this is the death ray, actually, from the, from the same sprue from the Implements of Carnage by Northstar. But it works out just as well. It's still got that kind of flamethrower look to it. So let's just trim these bits down. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. We'll dab a super glue. We got all this extra super glue that just kind of spilt out. So sometimes you get that with new bottles, which is a little annoying. So as you open it and then it just kind of spills out all over itself on its own. Why aren't you? He's a little more trim. Go. I give it that look, though. We're gonna we're gonna add a leather little ring. Which actually might be bigger than I thought. Actually, let's look at this. Let's look at this thing. Uh, it actually, might be bigger than I actually wanted it to be. Uh, we can go back to that. If anything, we can drill out the center here. All right, let's see. Uh, it goes a little too far down. I think we're going to notch out the middle here just so it can kind of sit straight a bit. Yeah, so... Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut into the chassis. So that means we're just going to mute this a little bit. So the Dremel doesn't blow your ears out. Ooh, still a little warm, but uh, got her cut away here. Yeah. So yeah, this will slide right in. Should slide right in. Uh, we're gonna wanna actually we're gonna wanna even that down a bit. So back to the Dremel. Alright, we should have this thing nice and set in now. So put in a little super glue. sure it really sticks in there uh, going a little heavy with this one because all the little squeeze out will work pretty well for uh, some welding lines as well get these little scraps out of here come on you get out of there Ooh. Watch out for those fumes a little bit if you're working with some hot metal and super glue. Alright, 
think that's looking pretty good. Do I want to ring, put the ring to the front of this thing? Actually, you know what? I think we will. We will. A little liquid super glue so I can slide it around a bit. Make sure we can line this up just right. A little bit of gel super glue for some welding lines here. And a little trick too, is I just do a little dab to kind of cover up some of these uh, mold lines. Here, smooth it down in the back. Like I said, careful when you're doing this kind of stuff. Sometimes those fumes like to get to you. Ugh. But, um, yeah, there's not much to do to this one. Uh, it's a bike after all. Uh, you know, some builds, you don't need tons of stuff, and it'll still look nice. So I think we're, I think we're about done here. So we got our bike with a flamethrower. And it's ready for some prime time. Alright Wargamers, we got this build up on the turntable, so let's get into some stats. Uh, name wise, we're going with the Copperhead. Uh, as far as the time, we rode up a bike with a sidecar, not normally seen. Uh, weapon wise, we just have a front mounted flamethrower. Uh, the perk classes we rode up was military and speed. And the actual perk itself just ended up getting one perk, and that was downshift. Uh, she comes in at a, at a good 15 cans. Uh, not heavy, not too bad for a for a real quick vehicle with a flamethrower. So it's gonna zip around, putting a lot of damage on her. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.